Hello everyone, my name is Varsha and welcome to Programming Knowledge. So today we are going to install the IntelliJ IDEA IDE and some drivers and JAR files for Selenium Framework on Windows 10. So let's get started. So open your Google and type IntelliJ IDEA IDE. The very first link that we see is the www.jetbrains.com. So click on this link. The IntelliJ IDEA is an integrated development environment that is the IDE which is written in Java for developing the computer software and it was developed by the JetBrains. Now apart from uh, all this, IntelliJ IDEA IDE also has features like we have the built-in tools, we have the JVM languages like Java, Kotlin, Scala, Groovy and also it supports some of the frameworks like the Spring, Java double E and it supports the mobile development and web development as well like the html css angular node.js so these are some of the features of intellij idea id in terms of system requirement we need a ram of 2 gb minimum and disk space that we require is of 3 gb of space and also uh, before installing the intellij idea id we uh, have to install the jdk first so all we need to do is first type jdk download now i haven't installed the jdk i'll show you go to cmd and i'll type java space dash version here you can see i haven't installed my jdk it says that java is not recognized as an internal or external command or operable program or batch file i will run this command again after installing my JDK so I'll close this and here you see we have the www.oracle.com click on this link and we have different versions of Java JDK we have the Java SE 15 we have the Java SE 14 and we have the Java SE 11 we're going to download the uh, latest one click on JDK download Now, uh, if you have Mac OS, if you're using Mac OS, you can install uh, installer. You can click this one, and if you're using Windows, then you can click this one. So I'll I'm using Windows, so I click this file. Now here you must accept the license agreement for Oracle Java SE, which says. I reviewed and accept the Oracle Technology Network License Agreement for Oracle Java SE. You have to simply just click on this uh, checkbox and click on download JDK 15. So now here you can see that my Java JDK has been downloaded. So all I'll need to do is I'll just click on this. So click on next. So this is the place where your uh, Java JDK will be saved. Let it be this way and click on next. And here you can see that it is getting installed. It will take some time so wait for it. So here you can see that my Java SE development kit 15 has been successfully installed. So I'll click close. And here I'll type CMD again. Just simply type Java space dash version. And here you can see Java version 15, Java IC runtime build 15 has been installed. This shows that you have successfully installed your Java JDK 15. And if uh, it's not coming this way, and if you type this command, and this is not the output of it. Uh, you need to go through the steps again and install it again. So now we have uh, installed our Java JDK on, uh, on our system. So we're going to set the environment variable. Simply just type environment variable and here you can see edit the system environment variable. Click on this. Here you can see environment variable. Right? Click on environment variable. Here you'll see system variables. In this system variable window, click on path and click edit. So click on new and here we're going to enter the path. How are you going to do it? So just 
go on C drive, go on C drive, go to program files and here you can see Java, go to Java, go to JDK 15, go to the bin folder and copy this path and paste it over here. So this is going to be the new system environment variable. Click OK and click OK and click OK. So you have set your environment variables as well. So we can install the IntelliJ IDEA IDE now. Simply go to the official website of IntelliJ IDEA IDE and go to download. Here we have uh, two versions, the ultimate version and the community version and if you're using Windows, go to Windows and if you're using Mac, then click on Mac and if you're using Linux, then click on Linux. So I'm, I'm using Windows, so I'll be clicking on Windows and we're going to download the community version. Simply just click on download. And here you can see that my IntelliJ IDEA, the com IDE, the community version is getting downloaded. So now here you can see that my IntelliJ IDEA, the community version has been downloaded. So click on this, click on next, click next. So over here, uh, create desktop shortcut, yes for the 64 bit and update context menu. I'll click add open folder as a project. Then create associations, I don't want to create any associations for now. Then update path variable that is restart needed and add launchers dir to the path. I click on this checkbox as well. And I'll click next. Then I click on install. And here you can see that the IntelliJ IDEA ID, the community version is getting installed. And just click on finish. So here you can see, so here you can see that the IntelliJ IDEA ID, the community version has been installed and I have created a shortcut desktop icon over here. So I'll just click on this and I'll click, I confirm that I have read and accepted the terms of this user agreement and I'll click continue. Data sharing, I'll just click don't send. I don't want to share data sharing. So this is the UI theme. I'll click the light one. Go to next. Just go to next. Go to next. Okay, so click on new project. Here, click on Java. And here you can see that we have the Java version 15 because you have downloaded the JDK. So it will be visible here and if you have not downloaded the JDK, it will show that uh, link to download JDK. Like here you can say, see over here download JDK. So I have downloaded, so it's showing 15 Java version 15 has been downloaded JDK. Just click on next. Uh, create project from template. Click next. So I'll just write hello world. So let's run a program over here. Uh, I'll simply write s out. And here you can see like if I write s out a system out dot print and then so this IntelliJ IDEA ID has a very cool feature of auto completing it. Like if I write S out, it's in system out or print and And there are many more uh, shortcuts to this. We will learn as and on we keep on programming. We'll keep learning it. So I'll just write hello world. And I'll click on this button that is the run main. Click on it. And here you can see, here it's hello world. So we have installed the Java JDK, we have set the variable path also, and then we have installed the IntelliJ IDEA IDE, and we executed a program, and it's successfully executed. 
So we are done with the installation of the JDK and the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. Now we have to install the jar files and uh, some of the drivers that we require for the browsers for the Selenium framework. So all we need to do is just go to the official web page of Selenium that is the Selenium HQ. Here you see we have the www.selenium.dev. Click on this. Click on downloads. And here we have the Selenium client and web driver language bindings. See to uh, create web driver uh, Selenium web driver scripts, you need to make use of language specific client drivers. Now, as we know, Selenium supports many languages like Ruby, Java, Python, C Sharp, and JavaScript. So it for every language we have the specific client drivers for ruby we have some client drivers for java we have some client drivers so we'll be using uh, java we'll be doing selenium with java so here you can see we have a stable version for java is 3.141.59 and the latest release that we have the alpha release 4 i have discussed about the selenium versions also in the previous tutorial so you can check out that so we're going to do with Java, uh, Selenium with Java. So simply click on download. So here you can see we have this zip file of uh, Selenium Java. I'm going to extract it. And here we have the executable Java files. So it is recommended that uh, you create a separate folder for the Selenium jar files and the drivers. So I'll be creating a separate folder of jar files and drivers. Just create it on any drive like C drive or D drive or somewhere because we're going to download many jar files and many drivers. So locating them and it will be placed in somewhere and then locating them and finding them at that point of time will be very hard. So just simply make a folder over here. I'll be naming Selenium jars and drivers. Create a folder in Selenium jars and drivers. I'll name it jars. And I'll create a separate folder also. Name it drivers. And in drivers, we're going to install the Chrome driver and the Firefox driver. So we'll make the folders for that as well. Let's make things very systematic because if we don't do it, then it will be very uh, problematic. So these, this way we have uh, created a new folder in our D drive that is the Selenium jars and drivers. So we have downloaded jar, jar files. Let's check that out. We have the first two jar files over here. We're going to copy it and place it over here. Then again over here, go to lips and we have the jar files here also. So we're going to copy it here and here it is. So we're going to add these jar files now to our ID. So just create a new project for Selenium. Java next. Next, I'll name it as Selenium. I'll change the package name to Selenium and I'll click finish. So here it is. Now we're going to add the jar files that we have downloaded. Simply go on file, go to project structure. Must accept. Okay, just click on accept and go to modules here you can see dependency tab go to dependency and here you can see there's a plus sign right so click on this plus sign and here you see jars or directories click on jars or directories go to the drive where you have created your folder i've created in d drive and i have named it as selenium jars and drivers Go to jars and select all those jars that you have downloaded. And simply just click OK. 
So here you can see that I have added my jar file over here. So just click on apply, click OK. So here you can see that uh, I can see all my jar files over here in external libraries. Okay, so we have added the jar files also. So now let's download the drivers. So what I need to do is same on Selenium HQ, just go down and here you can see platform supported by Selenium browsers. Click on browsers and for different browsers we have different drivers like for Firefox we have the Gecko driver, for Internet Explorer we have the Internet Explorer driver, for Safari we have the Safari driver, for Chrome we have the Chrome driver. So basically we will perform all our test cases in Chrome driver. We are going to launch the Chrome driver frequently. But in the next tutorial, I will explain how to launch drivers like the Firefox driver, the Chrome driver. So for that, we need to download the drivers for it. So all we need to do is just click on documentation over here. And here you can see the latest beta version that we have is the Chrome driver 86 and the stable version that we have the 85. Now see, over here you need to check your Chrome uh, browser version first. So what you need to do is go on settings and go to about Chrome and here you can see your version. It's version 85 and if it is not updated then please update it and then download your driver because your driver version and your Google browser, the Chrome browser should match and if it's not matching and then your browser will not be launched. So here I have the stable version that is the 85 version so I'll be clicking over here and here you can see this page. If you have Linux click over here, if you have Mac click on this link and if you have Windows then click on this link. I'm having Windows so I'll be clicking on this link. Here you can see this is the Chrome driver, this is the zip file. I will extract it. I have the exe file over here. Copy this file and paste it in the folder that you have created in Chrome driver. Same way we are going to download the Firefox driver. Go to documentation. Here we have different versions of Gecko World Driver. So what you're going to do is just go to Firefox and check out the version that you have. Simply go on settings, go to general. And here you will see that you your updated version that is the version 81. I'm having 81.0.1. Point so my Firefox is updated. So I'm going to download the version 81. Just go on Gecko driver release and here you will see the driver versions. Now I am having Windows 64 bit so I will be clicking this and if you have Mac then click this and if you have Linux so depending upon your operating system just click. So here you can see we have the Gecko driver it's a zip folder so we are going to extract files. And here you can see it is an exe application. We are going to simply copy it and paste it to the folder where you have created your drivers folder in Firefox driver. 